Jimmy. How's it going? Corrine? I don't even recognize you. I know. It's been so long since we've done this. What is this thing we're in? I know. It's a it's a brand new van. Look Sweet. at this, people. Brand new van. Yeah, I love it. Hey, okay. you ready for another carpool conversation? I was born for this. I couldn't wait until the last time that we had a carpool conversation. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm so excited. Who do we have with us? Oh, we've got the interns. We've got the Alive Student Ministry interns. So let's call them in here. Yeah. Hey guys, come on in. Come on, guys. Let's meet them. Remember, seatbelts. Cheyenne, guys. The seatbelt's crooked. You guys Woo! notice that? And then, Shy, who's behind you? We got Sarah, Nathan in the very back. Hey, Nathan. And Jennifer. Uh, woo, woo. Yeah, it's a All party. Distanced. I don't know if we should call this oh, yeah. And we are socially distanced, so we're taking precautions. I'm going to drive, which is a little different because normally Kareen is driving. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to see how good his skills are when I'm it comes to driving. Now. Yeah, we'll see. All right, yeah, you guys, re time. everyone ready to go? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't stop believing. Hold on to the feet. You guys are interns at a live student ministry, right? What did you anticipate this summer was going to look like as an intern when you signed up for this job? So actually, I'm going to rewind a little bit. This summer was going to look completely different for me. Um, I was supposed to be a staffer at Fuge Camps um, this summer, but that completely got canceled. And last minute, God really worked together and got this internship all lined up. Like you can ask Tim, it was crazy. It was like all yeah. within a week. Yep. So now I have this awesome opportunity to work with Alive, which really wasn't in my deck of cards at the time. Um, wow. So it was really like like helpful and like just provided so much hope and the steadfastness and sovereignty of God, just how he can just jump right in and make something out of nothing. You know? So in the midst of this chaos, you thought you were on a different path or different plane yeah. and then something great came of that. So that's amazing. Yeah, it was really, really helpful because like, being alone, not knowing what the next steps held, and then just having my plans fall apart, but then plans literally be rebuilt within days was so, so cool. Like, it was such a great thing to just watch God do, because it literally fell into place seamlessly. Wonderful. So hey, good. um, Sarah, are you next? So okay. I'll stop right here. What's poppin', Cheyenne? Coming up. It's not dangerous like that. You good? Let's see. For me, just like, um, just like Cheyenne, like my summer was going to look completely different than it does. Um, not even just with the internship, just like because I was graduating this year and I had prom and I had like plans to go see my friends and all of that just kind of died when Corona hit. And so I just really, even within the past like month, like weeks, God has really been just taking all of these broken things that I thought were broken and unmendable and being like no like I can mend broken things like I can do this and me just like trusting him through that has been a huge thing just trusting God that he can definitely like take your life and completely mend it in a way that you wouldn't even think was possible or you wouldn't think to do yourself how did you deal with graduation not having it so I had a a small graduation with my friends but the thought of just like this is my only time that I'm gonna have a graduation I don't have it like like other kids used to have it um, that was really discouraging but again like I just I was honestly like praying a lot about it. like God what do I do with this like I don't get a graduation like what do I do with that and he was like what I'm doing is far exceeds any graduation like what he's doing is gonna be so much better than any graduation any party any prom and I just kind of held on to that like I'll take what I have and what I can get, but I know that whatever's happening, God has something so much bigger planned. Isn't that amazing? I, I find yeah. that this senior class has just risen to the challenge and has done an amazing job yeah. responding and coping with Rolling with, with the punches. Yeah, they, they've not, just been great with that. And not just rolling with the punches, but honestly, I, I've been so amazed how they have been rolling with the punches with an expectation that father is by, like on his throne, he's behind the wheel, he knows what he's doing, and they're willing to pivot. I mean, that's been so humbling for me to watch. Well, that's just what Sarah just said. I mean, yep. that's exactly what you did. And, and oftentimes in very fun, creative ways that 
you know you wouldn't yeah. have done in the past and some are even sticking some of these ways are, are sticking so that's that's been really cool I'm really glad to hear that yeah awesome hey let's get Jennifer up here anxious <laughs> But that one looks kind of... Do you feel left out? Yeah. Out. Out. So you know, I'm not prepared for this and I don't feel great about that. No. All right, Jennifer, what did this summer originally look like for you? How is it, and then how has it been different than what you originally expected? Well, honestly, I didn't really have any plans for the summer. I was unsure of what path I was going to be taking. I didn't know what I was going to do. And so I would pray, I'd pray about it a lot, and the only thing that I would get as an answer was God saying, trust me. Wow. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going to go or what I need to do. I have this option, I have that option, it's just, what do I do? And it's just, wait and trust me. And the only verse that kept coming to mind was, I don't remember the exact verse, but it's in Psalm 46, like, be still and know that I am God. Um, yes, yeah, so I didn't really have any plans. So this was like a... So when did this job come available? Or when did you find out about it? Or how did God work all that out? I was talking to my best friend one day about it because I was really stressed. And she was like, well, you know, there's an internship at North Hills Church if you want to apply for that. So I was like, oh, cool, okay. So I applied for it. And honestly, I felt a calling to the youth ministry um, since like middle school, I'm in college by the way, um, but I never really knew how that was going to fit. It's like, well, we're in the youth ministry because there's a whole bunch of different areas. And um, so that's why I'm in this internship to figure out wow. exactly where I, I should be able to fit in. I think that's, I think that's amazing how God's sovereignty even shows through in that with you talking to your friend and, and the friend saying hey there's something available even though you're worrying about it but then God's saying hey trust me and it's mm -hmm. and he placed that in your lap oh, I mean that's amazing I love it when I was listening to you I was thinking about how many people listening to this can be in the exact same spot of I don't know right. so there could be people listening who did have those expectations that are going unmet but maybe they're still kind of in a season where they don't know what to expect anymore because life is so uncertain and just kind of so random and bizarre right now. So it's kind of cool to see your posture and response to that, which is even things that I, I can even focus on and realize how, how to respond to that in a God-honoring way with common sense. Right, Pretty because cool. there, there might be a lot of teens that even made plans this summer of, you know, we're going on vacation here, or here's what my summer job is, and then all of a sudden that particular business can't use them anymore because of everything going crazy with COVID, and, yep. you know, maybe they don't have as much business as I thought, and they can't hire as many people, yeah. and, right. and they're hearing the same thing, God, you know, God's saying, trust me, like he said with you, and he just, and God shows up in a really big, powerful way. I think that's amazing. And yeah. this internship is like bigger than I ever thought an internship could be. I love it. What's your favorite part? Does Tim drive you crazy? Because <laughs> he drives me crazy sometimes. All the time, but it's I love it. It's a spiritual gift so. I have. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one, Jimmy. <laughs> I don't think I really have a favorite part. No? Nope. I love it all. These two are fighting. Oh, they are fighting. <laughs> People are really bad drivers yeah. in Greenville. Hey, let's think of a song we can sing and then we'll get, when you can pull over, we want to get Nathan in. Uh, that's it. Come on, Alright, Nathaniel, you ready? You are playing with oh, us. Oh, no, no. You told us what it was. <laughs> My real name is Corrine. I just told you. Yes, that's right. Yes, ma'am. Remember when you wouldn't let me interview you as a youth pastor? <laughs> I interviewed the youth pastor here. Oh, cool, Dustin. So he's cooler than you are. If it makes you feel any better, he's not a student pastor here anymore. No, his name wasn't Dustin. Oh, I don't know the new guy. There's no point anymore because the average student pastor only stays at a church for like a year. Oh. So, oh crap, is it recording? It is recording. <laughs> Just kidding, I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> 
All right, Nathan, what did this summer look like for you and how yeah. has it changed because of everything that's happening in our world today? The summer originally, I think the big thing was I was gonna go on a missions trip to Cali, Columbia, which a lot of you guys know about. We did some fundraisers for that. Shout out to Cali, Columbia admission trip. Yes, yeah, next summer, but it, it fell through. So I was, I was disappointed about that. And then uh, just some end of the year, like graduation stuff, like, um, yeah, because you didn't have a normal graduation either, right? Well, like a lot of these it wasn't a normal graduation. Are... I did get like a graduation. It was just immediate family. Okay. But, and uh, the alive And the alive by. one. Oh. And, yeah, which was, yeah. Wow. That was, that was awesome. Shout out to Tim and to Dawson and Joe LaPena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Because thank you. they actually brought the graduation service to our seniors. That's amazing. It well was done. cool. I would yeah. fist bump you, but we can't touch. We have to social distance. Okay. All right, yeah. continue, Nathan. Yeah, and um, so then, I mean, really, this the opportunity for this internship came up, which was awesome. Uh, thankfully, I was able to keep both my jobs um, that, that I was doing, and uh, I think, really, God has been teaching me to, um, like, trust Him, especially with, like, college in the future. It's like, oh, I really want to be, like, in class for my first semester, but it might be online, um, especially with things, how things are looking right now. And so I think a lot of it has just been, like, trust me. It, how have you pivoted with everything that's happening, especially with your attitude with, um, because obviously if, if you expected to, for something to look one way, like even going to college in right. the fall, and it doesn't happen, I mean, that can be devastating. And and so yeah. many of our students are, are feeling that right now and it's hard and it's yeah. depressing and frustrating. And so how are you shifting your attitude and and um, just resting? I mean, because you, you seem very comfortable and confident and enjoying what's happening right now. And how do you do that in these uncertain times? Like very practically, like keeping my time with the Lord central. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I get so anxious and um, worried so easily and if I don't have that time every morning where I am with God and in his word um, then then I'm a mess mm. so we all are actually yeah Tim more than others just kidding it's also a spiritual <laughs> gift <laughs> I have many an extra gifts of grace. <laughs> <laughs> I think also like keeping perspective um, that's good perspective so, yeah so ultimately like knowing that ultimately nothing can stop the will of god like the virus can't stop the will of god any you know any any kind of issue that's going on in our country right now can't stop the will of god like his his will um will be accomplished um so resting in that sovereignty and that big picture of like god has a plan it will happen and nothing takes him by surprise is there is there a lot of um or is there any kind of joy or excitement when you kind of just sit back and go, okay, this is not happening at all, like what I expected it to? I yeah. wonder what God's gonna do next. Yeah. Like, cause this is really cool what's happening right now. And, and in yeah. 2020, that's the question of the day. Right, we yeah. don't what's, know. What's happening next? We don't did, know. Did you hear that there's like a huge dust storm from Africa I coming? I did, I heard that. All right, somebody, I, I work at a running store, so a customer came in the other day talking about that and I was like, no way. Yeah, it's supposed like, to happen this weekend, I think, right? Yeah. Or I'm not sure when this is going to air, but it's supposed, it's coming. And it's I've coming. heard that the um, the sunrises and sunsets are going to be off the charts. That's like so just, good. Yeah. Hey, one thing, Nathan, I was thinking when you were talking about perspective, like it's I don't know if it's healing for other people to hear that like this bizarre season we're in will not last forever. Mm -hmm. it, it won't. I mean, I hope it won't. We don't have a crystal globe to look into or crystal ball, but like take refuge in knowing that at some point there will be a break from the new normal so to say so at times when you're like depressed or down or overwhelmed to like think in your mind I can persevere because yeah I know who's on the throne but also this is this this you know this too shall pass type yeah. thinking and when I can see a light at the end of the tunnel like even something small like baseball starting in a couple weeks the Braves really the Braves, come on Red Sox, we need Red Sox. Yeah, but even small things like that gave me life. All right, so these are your interns for Alive. Very exciting. They're winners. We yeah. love them, they're amazing. They're you have us whether you want us or not. They're good dudes and dudettes. Uh, is dudettes? Dude. It is, it's no, not. dudes and dudettes. 
Well, dude sure, is male, we'll we'll make up masculine, word. dudette is feminine. Sure. Yeah. You add E T T E to the end of anything and it will become feminine, right? Like Timet? No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, what's that Shrek song? All Star? No. Um, it was like the theme song from Shrek. Oh, is that I'm a Believer? Oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. I just got her shirt. I'm down in my mind. think it would be good since we're heading back to the church our yes. car ride is almost coming to a close oh, I think I think it would be really good for us to end this time and just offer some wisdom or encouragement or a nugget of truth to say hey if you have been in the same spot or position as these interns take heart in knowing that you're not the only one yeah. right like right. I think yeah. it's so good to know that you're not the only one with these ups you're and downs alone. you're not alone um, there is hope, there is strength for you today to weather this mess called 2020, right? Yeah. And so in the mess of 2020, what, what do our gospel lenses or even common sense lenses need to be as we view everything happening? So I've been soaking in the book of Colossians for a really long time and I try to either read or listen to it every single day. And the, there's a theme toward the end of the book where Paul keeps talking about being thankful. And I think it's, it's a mental shift, but he, he lists all these things that he is encouraging them and exhorting them to do. Like, hey, guys, do this. This is going to be helpful to you. But on top of that, be thankful. And I think that, that being able to just, we can say, hey, guys, chill out, relax. You know, it's all going to, um, the Lord is going to, he's on his throne. He is, it's yeah. going to work everything out he has, as he has with all these interns. But have a have a joyful spirit or, or a thankful attitude toward it. Like, you know what? This isn't what I expected, but God, I'm going to thank you for it because there's good things that are happening right now. And I would add to that, and interns, you can chime in too if you agree. Talking about the Lord, and it's like he who begins a good work will be faithful to complete it in the day of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of people like to take that beginning of that verse and cut off the in the day of Christ Jesus. Mm. Because like we're like, oh yeah, God promised me this. He's gonna bring it to completion next week. Like I'm, I'm, I'm I see the horizon. But like the thing is, the only person that knows the horizon is Jesus. Um, and just holding truth, like holding on to that faith, like Tim was saying, that like the promise will be fulfilled. Like He has called us to a life of abundance. He is faithful to complete His promises Show to bridge. us. Um, yeah. So just like that was something really, really helpful for me because there were so many loose ends, so many questions, so many what ifs when all this came about. But I knew like, hey, God got me this internship. This is what God's promising to take me to. Everything else is going to be filled in. And that's something that he's going to he's going to do with every situation, not just our personal situations, but for all of his children. Yeah. I would also say even if you can't find that thing to be thankful for, just be thankful in the fact of knowing God is faithful. Yeah, okay. And even if you can't see it, even if you don't believe what we're saying, take heart in knowing, let us believe that on, you know, in your behalf. And also like Hebrews 11, one, sorry. Hebrews 11, one is like my favorite verse. It says, uh, faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. And definitely like that, I was holding on to that like this entire time, like during all of coronavirus and stuff like that. like. We have to have hope, we have to have faith, or like we can't, like we have to have faith and hope in Christ Jesus, or we can't get through this, like we cannot get through this alone. And we have to have Jesus in our lives and hope and faith, and that's just something really huge. I think that's a fabulous place to end, Timmy. I love it. Well, we're pulling in. Uh, can I say one thing that I'm very thankful for? What? By the t yes, you guys. <laughs> but by, by the time that you guys are watching this in this carpool car uh, episode, uh, airs, 
we will be at Middle School Woodlands as a youth group. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thankful for Big John Burgers and to hang out with our middle school students. We're so sad for those that aren't able to be with us and make it this summer. Uh, but know that you're in our thoughts and in our prayers if you can't be with us. But that's a win for us as a youth group. Mm -hmm. Even in the uncertainty, even in all the the pivoting and no youth group and this, that, and the other. So many youth groups from all around the world aren't able to have summer camp, but God has allowed us to have that. And I am yeah. something to look Amazed. forward to. Definitely. I'm very thrilled, so. And when you go down to Woodlands, look for my daughter, Keely, who's a counselor there. Shout out to Keely Shea, hey, counselor hey, at, at Extreme Woodlands Camp. That's so, good. so, hey, we, we're so glad that you joined us for this quick yes. uh, and these guys, conversation. We're thankful for these guys. Very shout thankful. out to Cheyenne. We're thankful for you. <laughs> shout out to Sarah, shout out to Jennifer, and shout out to Nathan. So, so. today, find something that you're thankful for and mm -hmm. let that be the anchor in the midst of uncertainty and unmet expectations. Yes. Boom. Amen.